Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. There haven't been many updates on my projects for Iron Man or anything else this year. Um, basically, I'm just making a video blog to explain why. Uh, mostly, I've been redecorating my house, as I shall show you. So here is a before picture of my downstairs hallway and stairs. Um, forgive the foreground picture of a piece of polystyrene. That was from a previous project. It's the only picture I have. Uh, basically, you can see I had dark red carpets, lots of dark wood, and it was generally very dark. And here is what it looks like at the moment. All the walls have gone white, everything has gone white, and um, I haven't got any carpet on the stairs yet, but that's coming in a week or so. So it's been basically using most of my spare time to paint out all of that dark wood, which has meant many, many coats of paint. Here's another before shot of upstairs. This is a picture with my PC bot and the connect sensor in the foreground. Again, the carpets are dark red and all the wood was dark, which was fairly dark and nasty. And here's what it currently looks like. So again, I've painted out all that dark wood. Still got to deal with the loft hatch. And I've put new flooring down throughout most of the whole house. So um, that's basically why I haven't worked on Iron Man at all or any other projects in the last few weeks. So I've got my uh, area here set up, which is where I'll be doing video projects and so on. Here's Android 11, and I've got all my maker stuff over here. Various boxes of uh, some plastic sheeting and electronics things. My soldering iron and all that stuff. And uh, some other props and things from previous projects. Here's my PC bot with its connect sensor on. There's a previous video uh, quite recently in my channel if you want to find out about that. But for now, I'm going to show you a piece of Lego. So I've been doing some planning for the Iron Man suiting up machine, or gantry, which I plan to build to put on my Iron Man suit, which you can also find about, uh, out about in previous videos. There's a big playlist of building the Iron Man suit. Basically, all the pieces have been designed to, to lock onto a rigid exoskeleton strapping system. So it should be fairly trivial for a machine to place the pieces. Obviously in the movie the machine was quite big, um, specifically putting the arms on uh, meant that the machine had to slot over Tony's arm and so if your arm span is around 6 feet then you need at least an additional 3 feet each side um, which means you need sort of 12 feet of space, full size, um, in order to build the machine. So I probably don't have that much space in my house and also need to take a modular approach so I can build this um, in pieces that dismantle. So what I've been doing is some planning with Lego to try and make a more compact footprint and um, still make a mechanism that can place the arms and so on onto the wearer. So uh, like the one in the movie, they will have to slot on. In fact, mine don't even open in two halves, um, which is what happened in the movie. So they are going to have to slot on a full arm's length. So uh, basically the plan is to uh, use clever levering in order that the footprint isn't so big and the machine doesn't have to be so wide. So what I've done is a um, bit of planning in Lego. So this is one arm, which will come in this direction. And uh, here is the other. So that basically meets the shoulders. Let me just stick that back on. It's not a very, uh, never mind. Not a very strong model, but uh, nonetheless you can see that that meets at shoulder height and uh, when the pieces are down they probably come maybe one to two feet in real life past the end at the very maximum and uh, one way or the other the machine is only as wide as an arm span um, either in the folded up position or the folded down position. So the idea will be of course that you will have to place your arm into this and as the machine raises up, you will also have to raise your arm up so that it fits through the arm armour. So the whole thing's going to be built around a single post, which is uh, what this piece is. It'll probably be a single column instead of multiple bits of Lego stuck together. And also have this piece here, which uh, drops the shoulders and the back armour on, just as a demonstration, um, because that's how I've built my suit. Um, there'll be a thing mounted on the top that mounts a special helmet. So basically, if we just grab this one, this is the removable faceplate version. What I'll in fact do is cut a helmet in half down the middle 
So the two halves fit together and then the faceplate can be stuck on and those will all be stuck together with magnets. There will be a special version for the suiting up machine. And so uh, those pieces will come from behind the wearer on the central post, sort of in this sort of action. And then the faceplate will flip over the top. The front pieces of armour are going to have to be some sort of robot arm assembly, um, which will be a separate module which will uh, wheel on on a track or something this way and basically placing those pieces on are at the moment just as simple as sticking them on because they're all held with magnets so it's just a case of building a machine that can repeat um, one motion to place them in the correct height for me so obviously I need to get around to, to actually starting that and finishing the suit as well and painting it and building all the detail parts the next piece I'm actually going to make is going to be the hands and I'm going to do that with a process of life casting. So I'm going to be using some of this stuff, slow set chromatic alginate, to make a life cast of my hands, basically the palms. So you mix this with water and then you can um, either spread it on yourself or make an impression in it. The stuff is made from seaweed, so it's skin safe and you can also do, you know, your face or something if you wanted. It doesn't matter if you swallow some of it. It's what the dentist uses to make a life cast of your teeth if you've ever had a crown fitted. So basically the plan would be to press my palms down into a dish full of alginate, make a plaster or fiberglass cast into that. So I've got the positive impression of my hands, the palms, um, and then basically sculpt over the um, Iron Man armour over the life cast of my hands. So I'm only going to make the palm because I have these pieces for the back of the hand. Um, obviously I wear black or red gloves. So really what I need is just the palm armour, the fingers will be separate. Um, and once I've done the sculpt, made a mould and made another cast from that, then I'll make a vacuum form shell, um, or either that or a resin cast shell for the palms. So then I'll have a palm and a back of the hand, and there'll probably be some form of strapping system with magnets again, so both pieces can uh, lock onto the hand. And of course the palm will have a light in for the stable the flight stabilizers so uh sorry there's not too many other updates for now i've been doing a lot of thinking and obviously a lot of decorating around the house so check back for some more updates hopefully later in january